hey guys welcome to the channel in this video i'll be making an overview of my reef tank if you're new to the channel i make videos about reef tank in english and in french so do subscribe and here we go so the tank is a custom made tank uh, here in france the dimensions are one and a half meters long and the, the uh, height is 40 centimeters and the depth is 50 centimeters so it's a rimless aquarium uh, with ultra clear glasses uh, and the thickness of the glass is 1.2 centimeters so there are some reasons why I chose this particular uh, dimensions for this build uh, the first reason being I had um, one and a half meters uh, of space between the two windows so I wanted something uh, which fits perfectly between these two windows uh, in my living room and the home where I'm living is one of the rare uh, houses which survived the world war uh, the second world war here in the in this region uh, in Normandy in France uh, so the we have wooden flooring and I didn't want to uh, put a lot of weight on the flooring so that's one of the reason why I chose um, the height of 40 centimeters uh, in fact to, uh, to, to, to reduce the weight uh, of the aquarium and one of the major advantages of having a shorter height is uh, the maintenance uh, gets so much easier I can uh, really touch the bottom of the tank with my with my hands and get off any coralline algae uh, which uh, grows on the uh, bottom of the tank and even uh, the back of the glasses are reachable so I can keep this uh, back coralline free uh, which would be uh, almost impossible which uh, with a tank uh, which was which had a height uh, greater than um, 50 centimeters for the overflow i'm using the in out uh, overflow system from x aqua uh, so the outlet is on the left side of the aquarium and the inlet is on the other extreme end uh, so if you if you haven't heard of in out systems before it comes in as a single module uh, so uh, the output and the input are actually molded together and you have some uh, notches in between these two systems so you can just break it off and you can place it however you want uh, so I just did that I've put on the left extreme and the output and on the other end I've got the input when I ordered the aquarium, I actually wasn't sure if I wanted a transparent uh, back glass or get it painted either uh, in black color or uh, deep blue. So uh, I actually thought about it and let me show you how <laughs> innovative of a solution I found. We actually got an acrylic sheet, a very thin acrylic sheet and painted it with uh, with a spray paint and the acrylic sheet is actually held uh, onto the glass through the reflex supports this actually clamp and hold the sheet in place and so if I want to change the color of the background uh, uh, anytime uh, in the future I just have to remove this reflet swap out the the acrylic sheet and have another color going on in terms of feeding the fishes I use an automatic uh, feeder so I just use uh, the ocean nutrition uh, pellets I feed around two times a day but I do feed heavy for these fishes in terms of lighting, uh, I've been using reflets for quite some time. Uh, my old tank had a reflet 90, so that's the one you see in the center. Uh, 
I bought other two reflex those are the reflex 50 uh, so yeah uh, the lighting is from Red Sea now coming to the cabinet this is actually a cabinet made for uh, fresh water tanks by Aqua Atlantis these cabinets are actually made for 700 liters tanks uh, so uh, my tank is around 300 liters so I thought this should work and I've been told uh, many times from local reefers here that I have a very unorthodox way of uh, uh, making my sump so let me just show you so this is most probably the most bizarre sums you will uh, come around on YouTube uh, just to give you a scale of how small this sump is so yeah uh, in comparison to the display tank this is actually really small and the sump is around 15 liters and this is a very rudimentary way of uh, setting up a sump uh, so I have mastered this way of uh, sump installation for quite some years now so i don't recommend anyone uh, recreating such a setup uh, for themselves uh, so you know, to give you some details the water from the display tank comes over from this black tubing and i've uh, kept a glass jar inside which has uh, some ceramic bowls and the water directly goes in those ceramic bowls and it raises up passes through this synthetic filter and overflows from that glass jar into the sump for the skimmer i use the german made tunes skimmers it um, I, i've had it for past five years and it really works really well uh, so this is actually uh, the skimmer which has been made for 1000 liter tanks. Uh, this is uh, maybe an overkill for a 300 liter tank but I've been using it for some years and I'll keep, in, I'll keep using it. The filter socks I have for the skimmer outlet is not actually a mechanical filter but uh, it is just to hold off any micro bubbles which could come off. Uh, this old generation uh, skimmer as you can see from this uh, sump setup uh, I'm not actually using any modern controllers like Apex or something else this is really old school simpler way of reefing and as you can see it's been working well for me the center part of the cabinet is where i have all the electrical systems uh, this is actually a work in progress so the wiring is not done yet uh, and one of the special things i have in this uh, is the co2 sensors um, which i use uh, to measure the co2 uh, content of the air in the living room i try to keep it around 400 ppm and if it goes over that uh, i just open the windows and get it back to around 400 and the third part of this cabinet is where I have all the dosing systems uh, I actually use a three-part dosing uh, I use the products from one of uh, the local French shops and I do have a fourth dosing and I dose the uh, calcium hydroxide uh, during nights to maintain my pH values so well this is what I wanted to show in this video uh, I can actually go on and speak hours together about how I set up this tank but to keep this video short I'll be stopping it here if you've got any questions do let me know in the comments below and I'll try to answer it either with a new video or in the comment section below Thanks, bye.